Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. Ah, right, they've just gone and picked up the sleep week and they've gone and deposited in there. Right, that's good. And they're going to have a look over to here. So we've, we've got more sleep week grains over here. They're refrigerated at the moment, so they're fine. We don't need to worry about that. Um, I've got the... There's more wheat grains that they're picking up. They've got a lot of other things that they're dealing with. They're slowly getting through all of the rest of these bits. That's food shortage again. Building lacks resources. That'll be these over here. Because I've got these prioritised, hopefully the food shortage bit is going to start improving. That whole situation with the food shortage is going to start improving slowly, slowly, bit by bit. Now I've got filtration medium in these. So what I want to do there is... I can't just copy the building. So I'm going to build some storage bins over here and then I'll dump the filtration medium into those. If I go like that... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Like that. Let them build that, and then I can dismantle these, and we can put them into there. And then I've got a ration box over here, which I wanted to leave in a carbon dioxide environment. Um, it might be better if I just go and put them in the refrigerator, although that refrigerator is a little bit warm. Hmm. I'm going to disable... I'm going to break this one apart. Alright, i got cooking ingredient in here at the moment. In this one, what have I got? I've got pinch of pepper nuts. Mush bars. i got lots of stuff. Pinch of, what am I doing with pinch of pepper nuts? What can I do with them? Mushrooms, gristle berries, mush fry, pickled meal, mice loaf, uh, lice loaf. Frost bun, sleet wheat grains to make frost buns. Oh. Make five of those with the sleet wheat grain. Sleet wheat, we need to build a farm over here where it's really, really cold and I can grow a whole load of that. Sleet wheat there. This requires body temperature below five to, below minus five. Oh no. Minus fifty five to five degrees. So any yeah, anything below five degrees we can grow sleet wheat. So I'll deal with the sleet wheat in a bit. I want to keep the gristle berries going yeah, the gristle berries, I think. Um I kinda want to prioritize building those first. Copy settings. Put those two in there. And this one. Right, the pinch of pepper nut. What is the pinch of pepper nut for? I haven't, I haven't got anything that I can use that yet uh, for at the moment. Have I? What, what are you? you? You take nosh beans. Berry sludge is sleet wheat. You're not. You're not. It's, it's not in there. There is another cooking thing that i got to get later or not. I, I don't really know about that. I got 20,000 kilos of material in each of those. And this one has got 77 kilos. I'm going to I'm gonna deconstruct that one. I'm not going to use it. They'll then take the mush bars and they'll put them over here in his refrigerator. That's why I want to do that. Uh, these in here, the batteries, I don't have enough coal generation to power up those batteries. I need additional generation in here. That one has been removed. So the mush bar right there. Mush bar sweep. Uh, priority 9. Right. For priority 9, the mush bar in there. They should go and sweep all of it with top priority. They'll run that then up to the refrigerator and hopefully keep it in there. And then the other stuff here I don't really care about. This one in here. Deconstruct copy settings. Boom. Like that. That should give me filtration medium. Sand. Excellent. Right, so I got sand going into there. Then I can go to you. I can disable, disinfect, disable, uh, deconstruct. And that one I can deconstruct. That one I can deconstruct. Just like that. Right, I've cleared those out of the way. They are no longer going to be a problem. Automate my base with a wide range of sensors. I've got a hydro sensor in here now. Uh, that one was plumbing where I've got the insulated plumbing now. 
We're busy working on the next one. We've got liquid shot off on there. That bit has been dealt with. It. What? Are, what? Are, oh, research complete. Excellent. I've got the next level of research, which is under plumbing in here. I've got the radiant liquid pipe. That's the one that I want to use down in this area down here. So I want to change that over. Now, to, to make this one, radiant pipes, what does it require to build? Am I going to have to change... Iron, overheat temperature plus 50. Decor plus 20 with copper. High thermal conductivity. Overheat, so copper is better. Right, well I will build it with copper and I will go to... Cancel that. I'll go to the rock crusher in here. Gold amalgam into gold, copper ore into copper right there. A uh, consumable ore. I got 750 kilos. Oh, that's not the one that I want. I want basic uh, metal ore. 85 tons. I got 33 tons of copper ore. And I got 50 tons of iron ore in here. I So I will go copper ore to copper. In there. And I'll just do a forever queue on that one for a minute. And that's going to give me some copper, which I'm hoping we'll be able to change a couple things around. I've got the liquid tepid heats liquid up. Thermo aqua tuna cools the liquid pipe through it, but outputs heat in its immediate vicinity. So it warms up some areas and cools other areas. Basically what you've got going on there, which can make it a little bit difficult. i got a large sculpting block. Let's go and put one of these down. I'm going to drop a large sculpting block down right there. I'm going to put... No, I don't want to put one there. It's going to be right in the way. I suppose I could put one of these in each of the mess halls. Put large sculpting block in each of the mess halls like that, which is going to make, them, make it even nicer for them. I'll put one there so that they've got increased pleasantness. One here. There's no pleasantness here at all. So we also want to put in a couple there. Igneous rock this takes. Let's, let's add in... Uh, I don't need to add in any more pleasantness at the moment. We can leave it like it is. And then this over this side. We're, we're down below 100,000 germs in our water over here. I'm kind of hoping I'll be able to start that up soon as well. And then we can, like, have the cycle running through. That might sort of help. Let's, let's keep it running. Let's keep it moving. Um, we're back on with the food shortage again. Really do without those food shortages. So how are we doing? Why, why are we slowing down so much? I mean, partly it's to do with this, I think. Got the micro musher there. I've got people building. We've got a food shortage mainly because they've just gone and had a meal seems to me to be the main reason that they've done that uh research here no research focus i'm gonna leave it that way i got a new person turning up in 0.4 cycles i'm gonna get another person uh no you're no good no good no for research no for research no for research no for research I really need some of these research people to come up. If I can get a couple of the research, this is all finished now. But I still haven't researched this one. The person who was our research dude, unfortunately didn't make it. Which is not very helpful. I'll add a ladder in there on that bit. It's going to be helpful for us. And skill point earned. Right, someone has attribute increase. I'm waiting on that one. 0.3 cycles. They're building up those at the moment. We'll let them keep going that because that is going to improve morale. Once we've got them to build them, it is going to improve morale. Now, I've got lots of chlorine in here. So maybe we ought to start putting some liquid reservoirs in and then cycle everything through the liquid. So maybe I don't want to have this pipe here. 
Maybe I need to take the pipe. Actually, I can have the pipe there. I can still do the pipe that way round. Plumbing. In here. Right, liquid pipe sensor sends a green signal when the selected liquid is detected within a pipe. There and there. Right, I don't care about those at the moment. I want to go... How do I want to do this? Because if I take it into there and I store it for 24 hours, it's going to warm up before it moves out. So we need to basically have it going from this way across over into a chlorine filled room which is what we've got here this is all chlorine chlorine goes to the bottom and then the carbon goes elsewhere it's not a pure chlorine room here it's not like clean i got some chlorine being i got chlorine being pumped into here that's just pipe blocked in there so these storage bins they're doing a lot of good to be honest I deconstruct a couple of these. I've got a bit of an idea of what I can do with some more with the liquid, but I don't know how well it's going to work out. Uh, then what I also want to do is I want to go over to here to plumbing, and I want to take a radiant liquid pipe, and I'm going to put that... in there like that. I don't know if that's going to change any of it, but I'm hoping it will... It's still going to take them a while to get down here, but you can see they've already gone and dug out some of this up here. They've reached up high enough and they've been able to dig some of that out, ready for putting those pipes in. They just haven't put the pipes in yet. We've just got to allow them to take a little bit longer. And there is another blueprint. You are a vomiter. Ooh. Right, vomiters as stress reaction is no good. i got 12.6 tons of water coming in here. I'm going to take that. I, I, I'm going to have the water. There. Right. We've got a whole load of pure, clean water at 26 degrees. That water is cooled down a little bit. By having them with the water in here, that is going to help. I'm still running on this food shortage, but at the moment, I'm okay with that. I'm wondering if I should change the coal generator over to prioritize it a little bit more, but I... I've, I've thought about it, but I don't think I will. I'm going to leave that as it is for a minute. And now I've got some sandstone in here and a few other little bits, but for the most part, I don't need to worry about that. I've got blank canvas right there. Let's go and put one or two of these in. Not going to put very many in. This is... Morale improving. Oh, wow, will you look at those pieces of art that we've got in there. If I put in a few canvases in here, I'm hoping that that is going to really help. They'll get painted. These these are these are amazing. These are absolutely amazing. Our genius sculptures everywhere. That is an abstract, crude one. Not quite so good there. Not quite so good at all. At, at all. But um, overall, I think things are looking pretty good in there. And over this side, look, see, they're coming over and they are getting coal and they're bringing it over. So maybe I should change your priority on these and boost that up a bit. I mean, I've got the priority on the micro mushers set high, but the only reason they're not really working is because the coal generators aren't working very well. That one's not working very well either, but I got an idea with that. That gas pump there, I'm going to deconstruct that one. And then I'm going to go into ventilation, and I'm going to go to gas pump here. And I'm just going to plonk the gas pump all the way up there instead. And then we will go with our gas pipe. That one is going to run straight up there like that and join in. And then we're going to need to go to power. We're going to take the wire, and that wire is going to go up here. And that's going to join in there. Hopefully that will be alright, but that's going to start picking up the hydrogen right at the top of the base up there. And make some good use of that. I've got a little bit of coal up here that I could go and dig out. Which might be helpful. But I'm hoping that by pulling this out, then we'll start get we'll get more hydrogen being sent over this way for the hydrogen generator. Colony achievements! What do we get? 
Art on the ground, have a duplicate with a masterwork skill, paint a masterpiece quality painting. Excellent. Right, we've got some paintings in here somewhere. Where have they gone? This is the only place I've got paintings. Blank canvas. Okay. Why did we get an alarm? 6,000. Right, that's just 6,000 available. We got insufficient oxygen generation, but overall oxygen is still acceptable. Uh, no research focus. I don't want research focus. That's why. I do want to go into duplicate skills and see if I've got... Wait, who was that? Someone got an advance on research. Bubbles. Nails. Nisbet. No. You're close. You are close. Gene is actually pretty close to boosting into field researching on there, which is absolutely wonderful. But no one else is ready to go and help with that at the moment, unfortunately. So we're not going to do anything different. We will let it... They're still going to keep doing what they're doing at the moment. We've boosted those up through there. They're coming up pretty quick to go and do this and build these gas pipes. They're going to add in a few extra bits. Um, just the, the pipe and the, the, the copper and stuff like that. That's, it's not going to take very much for them to go and do that. Uh, I'm going to run out of actual copper though, aren't I? Because I've got this one here doing a whole load of copper ore. How much have I got? Copper ore. I got 32 tons of copper ore at the moment. So it's not a, it's not a major problem right now. It's not going to cause us any serious headaches. Just, just for a minute. I, think, well, I, I, I don't, I don't need to, I don't need to panic. I don't need to panic about that. I got a, a Drek in here, a Dreco in here. That's um. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what he's doing in there. To be honest, he's fine though. I'm, I'm sure he'll be absolutely fine. Uh, this chlorine room, I have, I have plans for that as far as the water is concerned. But we still need them to come in here and build this whole water circuit. They're slowly getting through there. Food has decayed. I'm sure it has. I will deal with that in a minute. Uh, this has almost been built. They'll be able to come up there and do that in a minute. Where's up? There we have a masterpiece. Right there has been painted. Look at that. It's going to increase the decor of the place, which is also going to increase a few other bits and pieces in here as well. Skill point earned. Duplicants can now learn skills. Have you got the right one, Nisbet? No, it's not Nisbet that I want. Plumbing, tidying. Interested in plumbing and will receive a morale bonus. All right, well, I will train you in that one then. Nails over here has got one skill, but I mean... To be honest, if Nails gets the field researching skill fast enough, I'm going to train him in that one. I got five people with advanced research. Who are they all? Ashcan. It's getting pretty close to a level up. That's number one. Then I've got Devon, who's very close. I've got Bert, who is literally right about to do it now. So we'll keep an eye on Bert, wherever Bert is, and he should level up in a minute. He'll be. I reckon that Bert's going to be the next one who's going to have then... I, it, it's going to unlock something that I really want. This is really, really important for me to be able to do it. No research. Yeah, I know that we've got no research. I'm looking at this up here. I'm keeping an eye so that we can see the next bit. And we've got... I Right. When ice is picked up, I think what's happening is that people are picking up ice and they're bringing that up. They're, bring, they're, they're taking the ice and then they're dropping it because they're taking it all the way up to the icy fan up here. These temp shift plates, they've actually cooled down a bit. Uh, in here, the temperature is still too high. It's 35.7, although it does seem to be cooling down. Now that I've got this ice thing up here, this it does actually seem to be working to cool the room down a bit. So that's 36 degrees up there, 35 degrees. 
sort of work. It's it's not brilliant, but it's it's kind of working. I just need someone to hurry up and get their their level on, and then we're we're on our way. And uh, you're racing along here to go and get coal, I'll bet. Yeah. That's what they're they're coming over and they're digging out the coal. So they are pri they are giving a bit of priority for gathering up the coal, which I'd say is a good thing because it, but it's it's not great because I've still got those generators. There are, the generators are idle now. You up here, you got no power. You can't run. I mean, it's it's great that you you started up, but you've still got no power on here, unless that's because it's not connected. Oh, it is connected. I just don't have sufficient power generation to run the thing. And that's our major, major problem. We don't have sufficient power generation to run anything. I've got water turning up everywhere in here from all of the ice, which is causing soggy feet no end, which they don't like. They get very upset when you give them soggy feet. If I can go and do that, if, if I can mop it up a bit, it does improve the situation. Building max resources. And then if we have a look through. This is what I think they do. That they... Ooh. Ooh. Skill point earned. Right. That is the dude that I wanted. Duplicate skills in here. That's... But yes. Excellent. He's got field researching. That is fantastic. Gene has also got field researching. I got two of them come in at the same time with the advanced field researching. That is awesome awesome we need that skill not gonna to worry about any more just for a minute what i'm gonna then do is i'm gonna go down here now i can actually do this analyze that's what we need we need to be able to analyze that bad boy right there and we need to be able to use it now you over here this gas pump i'm kind of thinking there's no real point to having that one there i've got I don't have any gas pumps further down that we can go and use. I've got chlorine. I, yeah, but and I want chlorine to build up down here, don't I? Um, I need to get another gas pump running. Which is going to cause me a slight issue. But we'll, uh, I'll worry about that in a minute. What I am going to do is I'm going to go into power in here. And we're going to just come down and... Uh, there, natural gas generator. Right, this produces carbon dioxide and polluted water. The carbon dioxide's not a problem. That doesn't matter. That's just going to jump into this region. So you will go there like that. Right? No issues with that at all whatsoever. And then I want to go to power. And I've got a heavy watt wire. And I'm going to bring that heavy watt wire up over here and I'm going to join that into the rest of this little bit of a circuit that we've got going on over here so you're going to go to there heavy what a conductive wire bridge wire bridge have I got a heavy what wire bridge what conductive joint plate heavy what joint plate I think I have that one I think I take you I drop you down there and then I have a heavy what wire I join that in there. I think that does keep... I think that keeps them separate. Right, so what this one does, this natural gas generator, it's a little bit of a jolly nuisance. It will... I'm going to get rid of these ladders next. Um, it, it lets out gas. That's fine. Uh, you've got no gas intake, no gas output. I've got to have a gas output on this one. So it's got to run to somewhere else to be output. So I can output the gas onto that vent right there. Uh, that's no issue at all. What the problem that I do have is... Right, where you are... That gas filter there, I don't know if I need that anymore. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm filtering out. I've, I've basically got clean stuff running through. I haven't got any other gas. I have got one gas filter up there. And that's cycling gas through this entire situation here. So I don't want to change that. This one possibly we want to change. But I'm going to have to start up this again soon. 
because I'm going to run out of water in the bottom here. Anyway, I want the gas output there, so all I'm going to do is I'm just going to drop that one over to there, and that's just going to output the carbon onto this side. Um, then I'm going to want a gas input, and that is going to be our natural gas. Now, that one's going to be a little bit more complex. I want to drag the natural gas from in here. So I'm going to take a gas pump, and I'm going to put a gas pump in there, which is going to be over this side. So I'm going to need to run a filter on that as well. Uh, gas pump is going to go there. And I've got that one there, which is a filter, except I'm going to want to filter out only natural gas. And that's why I'm thinking I want to get rid of this bit over here. So let's, let's get rid of the rest of it. We can allow them to go and do their thing there. You here, you're filtering out chlorine gas. There's no real point to me having that one here. It's not pulling out very much in the way of chlorine at all. Um, the chlorine is accumulating down here. I've got this one pulling out chlorine. And it's pumping chlorine back into here. This one seems to be obsolete. So I'm going to remove that one so that it's not taking up power at the moment. Deconstruct that one there. And once I have deconstruct, right, you're already removing that one. And then I can deal with the gas and so on. So we want the ventilation, gas pump, uh, gas pipe. Yeah, that's, that's just bringing that in. I'm bringing from here, it's pulling the gas in, which is effectively chlorine. And then it's pumping the chlorine through. And it's going out into the next pipe. Why are you running through there? And it's stopping. You've got no power. That's your problem, is you've got no power in there. I think what I need to do is I need to prioritize these generators for a while. Because this is coming in here. Is Does that just stop the gas from running if it's got no power? Is that how that bit works? Because I definitely don't have enough power to be running this. These, are, Why aren't you running then? Power overlay. Why aren't you running? These are joined together. It's because none of the... the I, I just don't have enough of these running. So it's it's sort of running a bit. But I haven't, I'm not filling up the pipe either. It's just it's running really slowly. Okay. That filter is filtering the chlorine, which is being used. I'm using that filter quite a lot. So I, I, I've removed the other one. So what I'll do next is you can stay there. I'm then going to want another filter, which I'm going to put all the way over this side. Um, and this filter is going to be used over here. I'm just going to squeeze this filter in wherever I can put it. I'm just going to dump it in there like that uh, for now. And, right, building intake is that side and building output is that side. So, you need it to be over here like this. Cancel that build. I didn't want that in there. Gas filter. Right, uh, building intake. Oh, um... I should put it over here. Building output. I think it'd be better if I put it that... Oh, that's, that's going to be in the way of other stuff. Fine, I'll put it over here. So the output pipe, which is the general output pipe, that one's going to go that way. And the other output pipe is going to go... The input is there, and then an output is there. Right, so that one's going to go like that. Well, unfortunately, that's all we've got time for for a little while. We need to let the replicants rest. So if you've enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And I am just going to drag out this farewell just a tiny little bit, just so that there is enough space and time on the screen to put up a couple lots of you absolutely wonderful supporters of the channel. You should be seeing some of your names coming up now. 
So until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.